today we are going to be learning how to do this checkered pattern right here because next week's video is going to be all on how to make this little wrap top here and it uses the checkered stitch not the checkered stitch but this checkered pattern all throughout the top so i figured i may as well make a separate video tutorial on how to do this pattern so today i am using these paint box cotton dk yarns just in yellow and white and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook honestly you can use whatever you want for this i'm just showing you guys how to do this technique to begin today we are going to start off with a slip knot and i'm making my slip knot and starting chain in the color yellow but you can do obviously whatever color you want then i'm going to pop my hook on there and pull tight so next we are going to make a starting chain and for our starting chain we want it to be in multiples of three plus one and the reason for this is because our checkers are going to be three stitches wide and that one at the very end is going to be our turning chain so i am going to make a starting chain of 16 which is going to be 15 a multiple of three plus one at the very end 15 and 16. Okay, so once we are done with that, we are gonna start working on our checkers immediately. So what we're gonna be doing is half double crochets in alternating colors all the way down our starting chain. So we're gonna start off with our yellow yarn. Our first checker is going to be yellow. So what we wanna do is make a half double crochet in that second chain right there. This chain one right here is gonna be our turning chain, but it is not going to count as a stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the top loop only of that second chain from our hook, gonna yarn over, pull through that first loop, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all three. So that is gonna be our first half double crochet of our checker. We're gonna be making two more of these. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the very next chain, yarn over pull through the loop and then yarn over pull through all three all right so we're on to the very last half double crochet of our first checker and this is where we are going to change color so what you want to do is just start your half double crochet so you will yarn over insert into that next chain right here then we're just going to yarn over pull through the first loop and then with three loops on your hook, you're gonna want to go and grab your other color yarn. So I'm gonna grab my white right here. And you're gonna wanna then grab the yarn just like so. And you're gonna wanna pull it through all three of these loops right here. Okay, so it's like we are completing the stitch with the white yarn. And you wanna make sure that you're leaving a bit of a tail right here as well. So now what we're gonna do is complete our next checker in white, which we will again do three half double crochets in the next three chains. So what you wanna do is we've dropped that yellow yarn and we've picked up the white working yarn. And what we wanna do is weave in the yellow yarn as well as this white tail as we are going along with these next three half double crochets. So what I'm gonna do is yarn over insert into that next chain right here, but we wanna make sure that we are picking up both of these other pieces of yarn. So when I yarn over, I wanna make sure that I'm grabbing both pieces of yarn and weaving them into my project. So make sure that your working yarn is on top of these tail ends right here. Then I'm gonna yarn over, pull through just that first loop. Okay, three loops on our hook, we will yarn over, pull through all three. All right, then I'm gonna do that again with this next stitch. So I'll yarn over, make sure that these two pieces of yarn right here are getting woven in. Insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so now we are on to our third stitch, and this is where we're gonna change our color back to yellow. So I am going to yarn over insert into the next loop okay make sure you're still weaving in both of those ends then we're going to yarn over and pull through 
And with three loops on your hook, we are now going to drop the white and pick up the yellow yarn, okay? So then we are going to replace the yellow yarn we are weaving in with the white yarn. And also make sure that we are weaving in the, to the very end of that tail of that white right there. So then what I'm going to do is work with that yellow yarn by yarning over and pulling through all three of these stitches. All right, so now we are going to make our next check, which is going to be yellow again. So I will yarn over, make sure that I am getting those two other pieces of yarn woven in, and I am going to insert into the next chain. Okay, making sure that they're over my hook, but under the working yarn. That little tail is very difficult. And I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, and then we'll yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so now that little white tail, you can see, has been totally woven in. So we are only now weaving in just this one strand of white yarn. So I'm gonna make, again, one more half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we are coming up to our third half double crochet. So I will yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Then we're gonna drop our yellow and pick up our white, maybe, and pick up our white. <laughs> then I will yarn over and pull through all three of those. And I'm just gonna continue this process of weaving in whichever yarn we are not working with. So there's one, two, coming up to the third one. So we start the half double crochet, but once we have the three loops on our hook, I will drop the working yarn and pick up the other yarn. Then I will yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so we are getting to our last check, our last three stitches. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, and then make sure to get into that last chain. So this will be three. Okay, and I'm going to complete that very last stitch right there because our checkers are going to be three stitches wide, but two rows long, okay? So now we are going on to work on row two. And for row two, what we're gonna be doing is mirroring row one. So to do this, we are going to chain up one in the same color that we ended off on. So that means for me, yellow. So I will chain up one and then we are gonna flip our work. All right, so now we are going to be working on row two. And you want to make sure that you are always bringing with you the yarn that you are not working on. So make sure you're bringing that up to row two as well. So as you can see, I'm holding it on the top of row two. So what we're going to do now is make our first half double crochet in this very first stitch right here. And again, this chain one does not count as a stitch, it is just our turning chain. So I'm gonna yarn over, make sure that I'm picking up this white yarn right here. So I'll insert into the first stitch and then make sure again that the white yarn is also going over the top of your hook. So then I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three, just like a normal half double crochet. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing for the second stitch. Yarn over, insert, make sure I'm picking up that white yarn. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three. All right, so we are on to stitch number three, which means we are going to start changing color. So I will yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, Drop my yellow yarn. Sorry, drop my yellow yarn. I'm gonna pick up my white. And I also do this thing where I don't want the two yarns to overlap and get tangled. So as you can see, I am just kind of putting this yellow yarn. I'm putting it over top the white yarn like this, just so that it's not gonna get tangled. Because if I did it the opposite way, everything would go haywire. So anyways, now we are going to yarn over pull through all three, and now we've just changed colors again. Okay, so after I do that, I can work with it regularly. All right, so let's make our first white half double crochet. 
we will insert into that first white half double crochet stitch that we see right there. And it's pretty easy to tell when you need to change color because obviously you're just counting three or you can see that the color has changed from the previous row. So anyways, there's that first stitch. I'll yarn over, insert into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now again, we are just about to change color because our third stitch is coming up. So we'll yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Then we're gonna drop our white yarn or our working yarn. And we're gonna pick up our yellow yarn or our second color yarn. And now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three to finish that stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat all the way down this row right here. Again, we are always weaving in the opposite color yarn. Okay, so I drop, but I'm bringing it over top because I don't want the yarns to get tangled. I will take the white yarn over, pull through, bring the yellow back like this, and we'll say one, two, three, drop the white, pick up the yellow, and then one, two, and you wanna make sure that you are getting into this very last stitch right here, because this is number three. So actually for our third one of the second row, we are going to be changing color for the third row, which means we are not gonna complete that half double crochet like we did on the last row. So again, when we have three loops, I'm gonna drop my working yarn, pick up, my other yarn which for me is the white and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three okay so now for row three I'm going to chain up one again but this is going to be the opposite color and then we're going to flip our work make sure that you are bringing up the yarn that you are not working with just as we did in row two all right, so now we are starting to alternate our checkers. So this is what all the checkers are gonna look like. They're gonna be three stitches wide and two rows high. Let me put my hook back on there. All right, so now we are starting our first white checker. So we are gonna yarn over, insert into that very first stitch because again, that chain one does not count as a stitch. All right, well, again, making sure we're weaving in the other yarn, yarn over, pull through. And then pull through all three. One, two, and now we're on number three, which means we will insert, pull through, drop the working yarn, pick up our other yarn, then yarn over, pull through all three. As you can see, we are starting the alternating right here. So I'm going to continue to finish this row really quick. And I think I'm gonna fast forward for you all. Okay, so we are back at the very last set of three. So I'm just going to finish this up. One, two, and then make sure to get into that very last stitch yet again. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. And again, we are going to complete this last stitch because we are gonna chain up one and then work the same thing we just did for row three in row four. Okay, sorry guys, I didn't chain up one before, so make sure you're always chaining up one when you flip your work. And then again, we're going to the very first stitch with the same color. So for me, that's gonna be white. So one, two, and three. We will drop the white, pick up the yellow, pull that through and then continue. Now, once you are starting to do this um, more and more, you're gonna kind of wanna start making sure that you are pulling on the opposite yarn just a little bit to make sure that it is tight and it's not gonna be kind of coming through all in weird ways throughout your work. So make sure of that as well. All right, I'm gonna finish up this row really quick and then I will come back, show you guys how to do row five. Okay, so I'm almost done with the fourth row right here. We still have one more stitch to go into. So I am going to yarn over, insert into that very last stitch, 
yarn over pull through and because we are about to start alternating yet again I'm going to drop my working yarn and pick up my other yarn so then we are going to yarn over and pull through all three loops for that to change color and make sure that you are chaining up one before flipping your work and this is all we are going to be doing for this checker pattern here. You're just going to be alternating between rows one and two and two and uh, three and four all the way throughout whatever pattern you're making. Um, for me, this is going to be for my wrap top, which is coming next week. Again, little sneak peek here so you can see it's literally all checkers all over the place so I obviously felt that I needed to do this separate tutorial just to show you guys a little bit more of an in-depth um, look at how to do these so that is gonna be all for me today please be sure to like comment share and of course subscribe if you enjoy my content follow me on Pinterest Instagram and Facebook for more daily crochet content and especially on Instagram if you're really looking for some behind the scenes stuff this checkered pattern will also be in a written version on my blog which I will link down below as always thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video